Hi there, this is Debbie. I'm here to show you. I was waiting for this package in the mail and I wanted to show you. I ordered this from Roseanne Roxy Car One and um, I wanted to show you these beautiful papers that she was showing online. Oh, look at that. She gave me a chipboard little uh, bird cage and a little bird. Thank you, Ro. That's so sweet. And I had to have these. She was showing these on her channel, Roxy Car One. And these are birds. Now these I plan on doing, uh, making cards and um, using them on layouts and some mixed media artwork that I do. Look at the beautiful flowers. It's gorgeous. They are absolutely gorgeous. They're so clear. Some more labels and some ladies. Wow. And here are some more labels. They are just so cute. And Asian. I love Asian fabric. I have fabric. I'm a quilter. And I made a beautiful Asian quilt. I love the colors. It's so tranquil and just absolutely gorgeous. Oh, and butterflies. We all love butterflies. And vintage. Some vintage labels here. Something about a corset. And up, oh, this reminds me of my sewing, a measuring tape and some cards. Oh, and these are beautiful. These are going to be great on a layout. This is gorgeous. Even cards on the corner of a card. Use dimensions on that, dimensionals to pop it out. And more labels and some stamps. Oh, look at. When I first saw this one, I was like, I have to have that. I want to put that on the front of a card. It's so beautiful. Oh, and look at here. Free. Thank you so much, Ro. Oh, she's, and it's a real photo. She's so cute. She's such a doll, that Roseanne. So around a month ago, I ordered from Roseanne a, um, or maybe a little bit more. The months go by and the weeks go by so fast. A mini album. She called it Love Letters. And, um... So I put this together and I wanted to show you. I put down here my love with uh, chip letters and I used black paint and nudie to make it look all bubbled again, make it look white, nicey. And I had, uh, she gave some toile. She basically, everything here is in the kit and more. I'll wait until I show you what else she gives. And I took some crystals that I had, I put them on fire line, which is actually fish line, and I sewed it in here because I wanted to dress it up a little. And I put some ribbons that she included, and she included this pretty um, charm, beaded charm that you put on here that she made. It looks like she made it. It's so pretty. And also some pom-poms, and I sewed them right on to the ribbon. And a button that was, looks like a hat, and I put that on there. And of course a little flower here and a little flower and some stickles, and she included some red glitter that I put on there. And here I have uh, acetate that she included with the ribbon and the bling. And I made a little uh, tag holder out of that. And the florist on the front I brought over and I just stamped around it to make it look like it was continuing on. And here this says Our Love Story, a journaling tag. And then over here, she included chipboard frame that I used um, brown, not brown, silver embossing powder. And I stamped a day to remember. And then she included this little piece of chipboard and I used some crackle paint on it and I put some stickles and then a, I added this on. This is a Heidi Swap um, rose that I put on there. So, and here's some stickles down here. I love to add detail to the pages with stickles. It highlights a lot of things. Now here, this was really cute. She included these vintage pages that she made um, flowers out of, the shape of a flower, and then a screen here. And what I did was just layer them, and I modge podge them a little, and I put some glitter around here, and a flower with a little bling. And then over here, I just embossed this design with clear embossing powder. 
and I glimmer mist on these little tags. I glimmer mist this. And on this one I wrote all the way around, My Love, My Love, because that was the name of my book. And this page, I love how this came out. This she included, A Man and a Woman, and I used um, dimensionals, so it stuck out from the page a little. And I put these beads around it that she gave in the kit. And then I stamped, Memories Are Meant to Be Made, Not Forgotten. And then what I did was, you see the tree back here with the, the uh, snow on it? I drew a tree over here and then I embossed it and then I took a pen and I just kept on scraping my black paper until white showed up behind it to make it look like snow. I thought that came out really pretty. Okay, on this side I just took this piece of paper that she put in here and I put um, glimmer mist on it and closed the ribbon and just made it to be another tag you and me, another tag holder. And here is some stickles that I put down here again. And this has red lines on it for journaling, so I pretty much left it for journaling. And um, it says love always, and two little tags for journaling. And this is so cute. This is a little um, note paper clip. And a little flower, a little prima flower with a little heart bling there. And there she enclosed a um, frame that I put red uh, paint on and put more stickles to highlight the frame. And then here I put red paint around these two designs so they would pop up. And just added these flowers with a little bling. And on this page I put the red ribbon across to either hold a photo or a journaling tag. And this is for journaling. Sorry, there I am. And on here, I put um, that frame of uh, that pa old paper again and the, the screen that she cut into a flower. I put that on and added a button. And I put this ribbon across there so it's a tag that holds tags. Okay. And a mid two. And then here, this was a little bit of a challenge. For two days, I thought about how I was going to use this piece of metal. She enclosed this pizza, piece of metal, and I used um, alcohol inks on it. And then I added this tag holder on it because I decided after two years of two years, two days of thinking about it, that I was going to use it to hold tags or a picture. So these are the journaling tags that I glimmer miss, and I use it as a tag holder. So it took a little while, but it clicked on what I was going to do. So. It was a little bit of a challenge. I wanted to use it in a creative way. And on this page, I just put down um, the red uh, ribbon, two hearts that I glimmer missed. I glimmer missed the back back here. And then her love bingo card. And this she enclosed chipboard piece that I grunged up and put on. And some more tags. A journaling spot, another tag. And then on the back, I put the rest of that flourish and the stamp that she enclosed and two flowers with bling. And um, never forget about your backs. Your backs don't have to be plain. You can always, it's like a quilt. The front of the quilt is art, but also the back of the quilt is also art. And I wanted to show you all the goodies that I have left over. I have a minute left to show you. I have all these goodies left over from the kit. She gives you so much stuff that you have enough acetate, some ribbons. You have enough to make two. Look at this. Look at how pretty the ribbons are. A butterfly, a whole bunch of buttons left, some of these little uh, pom-poms another chipboard piece, and extra papers, which I put away already when I first did the kit. And um, so I just want to say thank you, Ro. I loved your kit. And I uh, hope you guys like my video. Leave a comment and watch for more. I'll be adding up, I'll be putting up more soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching.